Welcome back, and today I have a new product. This is the brand new Honda EU3200i generator. This one is fuel injected, and the neat thing is it should be a little bit bigger than their old 2000 watt, but because it's fuel injected, it makes more power and lasts longer. I haven't seen one of these in person yet, so I'm really excited to get this box open and see what it actually looks like. You can already tell it is a bit longer than the old 2000 wide. Doesn't feel that much heavier so far. Let's take a look at this thing. On this side, we have the pull start, just like we did on the 2000. You'll notice there is no on and off switch here. On the back, we have pretty much the same thing as the 2000 again. The exhaust is there. And by the way, these are now for sale in California because of California. Over here, again, very similar to the 2000. We have our little door to access the spark plug. Filler cap right here. And on this side, the big change is now we have weatherproof covers over the circuit breakers, the outlets. There's an addition of a CO2 detector right here. And the on and off switch has been moved to this side. Let me grab one of my 2000s so that we can compare it. So this is the original Honda 2000i. This is the new 3200i. This one is bigger, but it looks just a little chunkier. It doesn't look a significant amount bigger than this one when you actually have them side by side. And then let's take a look at the front. On all of the 2000s, you only ever got two outlets, either two 20 amp outlets or a 20 amp and a 30 amp. This one, we do get two 20 amp outlets as well as one 30 amp outlet. So the only way to do what this generator of this size does would be to have two of these. To have the equivalent amount of power of the new 3200, you would have had to have one of these companion units. This allows you to have two Honda EU2000s together. And then this unit has your 30 amp plug, so you can plug that into a motorhome, power your air conditioner. But you would have to have both of these running and tied together with the companion cable. And now you have all this power in this small EU3200. And speaking of the companion cable, we do still have that on the new generator. So we could pair this 3200 with the old 2000. Let's double check that the cables do fit in, and they do. On the old 2000, we could turn on the Eco Throttle just with the switch. On the new one, looks like it's a push button, and that's because this unit contains Bluetooth. So we can control this with our phone. We can turn the Eco Throttle on and off from our phone. So we would not want a switch that stays in a certain position like this one does. So on the new one, we'll have a light that will illuminate, letting us know that our eco throttle is on. Another new thing on the front panel here is a fuel gauge. So we can actually see what our fuel level is without taking the gas cap off. And we should also be able to see this on our phone as well. Down here is the carbon monoxide alarm. And then a little reset button if it gets triggered. These units do not come with any oil in them. And unlike previous models, they don't come with a little oil bottle in the box. So you have to go and buy your own oil to add to it. Let me get the fluids in here. Then we can start it up and do some testing. I have all the fluids in it now and I have not started it yet. So this will be the first start. Being fuel injected, I don't know if I'll have to pull it a bunch of times to get it started. But I imagine after that, it'll just be a one pull thing and it should start. Let's see what happens. Turn it to on. That's pretty fast. It started really easily. Okay, so it looks like it started with Eagle Boat on. It is pretty darn quiet. Let's start one of these 2000s and see if it's louder than that one. Hearing them 
run side by side with the eco mode on inside a building where the noise is going to make the most difference. It does sound like the 3200 is slightly louder, but I think it's a little bit deeper than this one. So if you were happy with the noise with the EU 2000, I think you're going to be plenty happy with the noise from the new EU 3200i. Let's see how well this restarts. Being fuel injected, this thing starts right up. Before you've even cranked it very far, it's already running. So that is a huge improvement over these old carbureted models. Let's plug some things in and test it out. This is my off-road camper that I've been building on this channel. Check out older videos if you want to see how I built this. But this is the perfect vehicle to test this generator out. It is windy and frigid today. It's only 22 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Let's get this fired up. I have my phone connected to the generator. We can see that it's not using any power right now. Let's turn the eco throttle on. There we go. To plug the camper in, we will need an adapter because it comes with this plug. But the generator has this plug. We got the adapter on. Now we can plug this in to this 21.7 amp outlet. We're plugged in, but the converter and battery charger, I guess, are not using enough power to show any difference here yet. Let's go inside and start turning things on. Inside, even though the generator is right next to us, you don't hear it running too much. We are showing some power now. Keeps jumping up to about 50 watts. Must have trouble reading really low wattage. So let's turn the fan on first. There the fan is set to low. That's using some power. Let's turn it to high. Looks like high doesn't use a whole lot more. Turn the air conditioner on. I think it's not kicking on because it is so cold in here right now. Need to turn the air down. Luckily, it will let us take the air conditioning cold enough. There it goes. Now we're up to 830 watts with the air conditioning running. It's still a fraction of what this generator can do. Let's turn on some more lights. Let's turn the fan on. Let's get the fridge going. That should be on electricity now. With all those things running, we're now up to 1200 watts. Let's try the vacuum cleaner. Wow, well, that's some power there. We're using 2300 watts now. I think we should turn the eco throttle off. The dead bog down there for a second. There. Now with the eco throttle off, let's try the vacuum cleaner again. All right. That's much better. Make sure the eco throttle's off. Now we have the air conditioner running. Let's try the microwave at the same time. Twenty three fifty watts. It looks like this generator can power everything almost simultaneously. It would not be able to power the microwave and the vacuum at the same time. But everything else I can turn on and this generator handles it. I've turned the air conditioner off now. The only major thing on right now is the fridge. Looks like it is drawing 400 watts. Let's turn that off as well. Now we're back down to zero. Let's do the ultimate test. Let's try the vacuum and the microwave at the same time. Start the microwave first. Now that that's going, let's add in the vacuum. Wow, look at that go. That's working. I guess the microwave's turned off. I would say that is probably the maximum output for that generator, but I am very impressed. 
The last feature I wanted to show you with this phone, if you hold down the power button, you can shut off the generator from your phone as well. So we'll hold that down, and it shuts the generator off. Then it will remind you, make sure that you turn your switch to the off position so that if it gets bumped, it doesn't accidentally start on you. And just hit confirm once you've done that. All I have to say is, wow, if you own an RV, a camper, or a boat, and you're looking for a new generator, this is definitely what I would buy. I've probably owned my original Honda EU2000 for about 15 years or more, and boy do I wish that this product had existed sooner. This one here really hits a sweet spot. The EU2000 is just not quite powerful enough to power what you normally need when you're using a camper or an RV. But even if you have a 40 foot plus RV with three rooftop air conditioners, this one is not going to power everything, but this will power enough to get you by and you won't feel like you're roughing it like you would if you only had the EU2000. The great thing about this one is you one person can easily pick it up and move it around that wasn't the case for the older EU3000i. You really needed two people to pick that one up and move it around. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.